Melanie, congratulations on this show. Thank you. And for your time. Delighted to, to, to chat to you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Have you still been able to get your head around the success of the show? Because I know when you do something, you hope people will receive it very well. But yeah. with something like this, I mean, it's just gone stratospheric very quickly. Have you, do you, have you got a sense of just how big it's got now that you've done a season two? I think I'm starting to kind of understand it. I, it was such a crazy whirlwind because <laughs> I went straight from the first season I went and did another show called Candy and then I went and did The Last of Us right after that. So I just was working and then suddenly it was the Emmys and then I was back again, back at work again. So I haven't really had a moment of sitting and taking a deep breath and thinking about what my life has become. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I mean, if, I mean you've been, you just you spoke about it there. You've done this, and then you've done The Last of Us, which are the, the two kind of two of the biggest things yeah. at the minute. How 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 was that for you in terms of the performer going from one to another to another? Was that, did you enjoy the fact that it's quite a well you know a maelstrom if you like, where you're doing one thing after another after another? I would rather have a break, <laughs> but it's just not not how it's happened. I'm very grateful to be working, and I also understand that it's not going to last forever. So I feel like while good opportunities are coming to me, I should take them, even though it's exhausting. Um, but, but yeah, I, I just, I feel so, so, so fortunate. It was a lot though, like going, I think I had, I think I had a week in between Candy and The Last of Us and it wasn't enough time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to sit, just settle. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's like, where are we? What's happening? What's this town called? Like Calgary. <laughs> I know you spoke before about that you've enjoyed doing some of the kind of lower budget stuff because mm. you're allowed to be more creative. Did you feel like this show was, even though it was a kind of a network show and everything else, that this was similar to that in the sense that it was a very different story and it, it allowed you to be more creative than maybe if you'd done something else yeah. dissimilar? Yeah, very much. I'm, I'm still kind of amazed that I found like a job on TV that allows me to do so much. It's incredible to me to be 45 years old and be playing this character who's so interesting and so complicated I just it's incredible when you obviously I know with, with series you get to spend a lot more time with a character and mm. you a bit more of them bleeds into you a bit more of you bleeds into to them is that an advantage or disadvantage for you as a performer getting to spend more time because sometimes I guess you do films and you go in for you can go for a few days or a few yeah. weeks, wherever this, you get a lot more time. Did you feel that was an advantage or a, a disadvantage? I think it's an advantage because f for the writers, they get to see what is working. They get to see people's different specific chemistries with each other. You know, like this season, I have a lot more funny stuff with Warren, who plays my husband, I think, because they saw last at the end of last season, all oh, that kind of works when they're doing these sort of like screwball, like comedic things together. So there's more of that this season, which is fun. It's nice that the writers get to see like how things are playing out and, and add to it. Yeah, I have to say, you do have one of the funniest lines in the, one of the trailers, which is, I think your daughter asks you if you're a murderer and you're like, no, no well, I guess, <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess, yeah. Yeah. So brilliantly delivered as well, I have to say. Oh, I think thanks. only you could, you could do that. I, I wanted Thank to ask you about you. this ensemble because there's you and there's obviously Christina Ritchie and Julia Lewis, but there's all these wonderful young performers that are yeah. doing amazing work as well. And obviously I know you don't spend necessarily time on set together, but is it, is it, it must be fascinating to watch their work as well because you're not always part of that, whereas yeah. when you see the show, you get to see all the amazing work that they've done. Obviously they're, they're playing some of you guys as well. Oh, I... You know, in the first season, every episode, we had a table read on Zoom. So I just would get to watch their performances, and it was so, so, so fun. This season, we didn't do it as much because we were doing a lot of tandem episodes where everyone was shooting at the same time. But I'm just, I'm kind of in awe of all of them and of our casting directors for finding this incredibly talented group of people. And it's really hard because a lot of them are supposed to die. <laughs> so I think that the writers are having a really hard time. They don't want to kill anyone because everyone's so good. <laughs> and they're just like, what are we supposed to do? That's the thing with, uh, with series as well, I guess, where fans take to characters. I remember with Stranger Things, one of the favourite characters was 
character that got killed off in the first one or two episodes. People were like, bring her back, oh, bring really? her back. And they were like, well, no, she's dead. We can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she was great. Yeah. yeah such a Barb. Big thing to... Barb, yeah, that's it. I was going to say yeah. Brenda. That's, that's really bad. No, Sorry, that's Stranger right. Things people. Uh, and I wanted to ask you about Sean. I mean, there's, there's so much of a fantastic, there's a fantastic character there. There's so mm. many layers to her and... You know, obviously the, the trauma of everything and everything else. For you, what was the, the specific thing when you read it for the first time that, that immediately your brain went, oh, Shauna is someone I'd, I'd really like to play? There were two things, because I only had the pilot episode and there's not a lot of Shauna in the pilot, but there's a scene where she's ironing and she's uh, watching a game show. And I can't remember the exact line, but she harshly judges a contestant who gets the answer wrong. And... It was very funny to me. And then there's the scene with Tawny in the diner where you understand that at some point in her life she had a tremendous amount of power. And now she's, you know, you've just seen her in this domestic space having this unfulfilling life. And I was like, that's really interesting. Like people are kind of afraid of her for some reason. And I wanted to investigate that a yeah. little bit. Yeah, and the, I mean, the, they, the creators and the writers get the balance just right between everything because when mm. you read the synopsis, you kind of think, I'm, I'm not sure how this would this would play out. These feel like a lot of conflicting things going against yes. you. But actually, it, it, it's such a great synergy. Was that another reason for you to want to get involved? Because it is so, so yeah. smartly done. Yeah, so much. I feel like every time I try to explain the show, I make it sound so dramatic. And then I say, but it's funny. And then that sounds even worse. It's like funny cannibals. Mm, okay, that sounds great. Um, but it is true. Like the comedy, there's such a good balance of this terrible high stakes, awful things happening. And then humor just laced throughout. They're really good at that. Yeah. Yeah. I have to ask you quickly about The Last of Us, which has, has mm. become, I mean, it's a phenomenon. And for, for someone who played the games, I mean, it's hard to adapt video games into anything, let alone yeah. into a series. And they've done such an amazing job. And you've, you've obviously just come into it. How was that experience? Because did you, did you, did you know about the games before? Did you, had you I played knew, it? Or? I knew about the games because my husband loved it. It's his favourite video game of all time. So on some <laughs> level I knew. Um, and then... My friend Craig Mason was one of the creators of the show. Mm. So I knew that that's what Craig was doing. But he called me one day and he said, I've written a character for you. Do you want to come and do it? And I've always, always, always wanted to work with him. It was such a dream. And then it was just a great experience, just beginning to end, just kind of perfect. Husband was happy then, I can imagine, he that day. He was so happy and he got to play one of the infected people. Of course he, of course he yeah, does. Yes, yeah, of course he does. So that was, I mean, I've never seen someone happier. <laughs> Maybe the day our child was born, he was, he was about as happy as he was playing a clicker. Close number two. Yeah, very close. <laughs> very close, yeah. Uh, it's so lovely to meet you. Thanks so much Lovely for to meet Pleasure. you too. Thank you, so Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 